What is going on guys? Craig 1287 here, starting this off with a nice jet kill with one of the new tanks for armored kill. <laughs> uh, showing this video to, to you know discuss some uh, tips, tricks, tactics with the uh, new tanks. Uh, these are, you know, they're fairly different compared to the, uh, the current uh, <laughs> tanks that were in the game, the T-90 and the Abrams. Uh, one of the key things is, of course, their speed, uh, the weapon selection, and the way that the uh, armor, the uh, reactive armor works on them. So when you see this, I'm, I'm tilting, I, I get hit in the left side, I turn so that I'm facing him and he takes out my left and front armor. Now, of course, I said front armor, which is a pretty handy thing compared to the, the T-90 and then the Abrams. They only have armor on the left, right, and rear. So these guys can actually stay alive longer than those uh, vanilla uh, tanks. So obviously, you know, I've already gone through two tanks. Uh, I went through one that showed up behind me, just took that one out that came from uh, G direction and then that guy just took out one of my friendlies and now he's working on me. I'm still up there in the 90s now dropping down to 70s. I only have my rear and left armor now. I got my buddy trying to revive me or uh, repair me as best as he can and so I get this guy taken out and now I'm working on the fourth tank just in a row and then I've got a guy behind him actually shooting me in addition to him. I finally get taken out so low that I decide to, you know, I realize he's at such a, an, a health that I could pop out and take him out with the RPG. Sadly though, this guy bails out. I'm at 20% and he takes me down uh, and you'll see here just in a sec he gets taken out by someone else. You know, so I had pretty much a 60% kill assist on him and I was only at 20 health. So had that not happened, had I not been injured. I probably would have bested that guy uh, to, you know, make that a seven kill uh, streak right there at the start. Uh, now moving on, um, you got to know that this, this, these tanks, you know, they're still just as vulnerable. So I'm, I'm working on this guy. I get him disabled. You know, I'm trying to use an LMG, uh, and I eventually do get him. But then I see coming down the hill. Uh, two, is that two tanks? No, it's about to be spotted. Three tanks. Um, yeah, so I realize that that's, that's way too much. And that's one of the strengths of this vehicle, uh, the new ones, is you can easily retreat. See, I'm messing with these guys with the uh, distance that they're trying to shoot me at. But this frickin' ATV just gets in the way and ruins the whole thing. I couldn't back up slowly, so I just had to, to gun it. So I'm using this vehicle's uh, strength again, it's speed. I can quickly get down here to the flank where I saw one of the tanks going. And again, I've got all four of my armor, uh, sides of my reactive armor, so I know I'm going to be able to take this guy. He hits me on that side, I'm able to take him out. And again, I turn and face him so that I know he'll take out the next armor uh, panels. So he hits that. And I'm still alive, even though he probably should have been able to get me. And he takes up my third side, uh, so I best him in that situation. Again, just using that reactive armor to my advantage. So uh, what should you be running? Like, obviously, you know, reactive armor is great for her, except for this guy. You know, he, he gets run over. Uh, reactive armor doesn't really defend against that, those types of, of attacks, but... Uh, the speed of the vehicle does. So definitely run reactive armor, running smoke for, you know, taking out uh, people running javelins, pretty much making them ineffective, ineffective against me. So I take out that helicopter that just landed. Uh, they weren't in it, but I made sure they couldn't repair. And here I'm shooting at this, I believe it's a scout. It's moving too fast to be transport, but I, it might be a transport. I, I think that was their transport. I take him out. And then I get just badly hurt real quick. And I saw that it was a grenade icon. So I know it's it's an NG real close to me. So I know he's going to be pushing up once he sees the white tank on his mini-map rather than an enemy tank. So I uh, basically just thought of where I would go, what direction I might go if I were, you know, pushing up on that guy. And I figured he would go around those crates, which he did. I took him out. Now this guy, he's in this building. 
I know he's at sea. I finally see him there, but at first I only saw him on the mini-map. So I'm trying to get him with splash damage. I realize it's just not working. He went around here. I'm guessing he went up these stairs. I see him on the mini-map again, so I know where he's going to be. So in that, you know, it comes down to risk assessment. You know, is it is it going to pay off if I get out of the vehicle and risk being taken out or even risk giving up my vehicle? And I, in that case, I saw that there was just that one guy Except for this dude, check this out. I see him on the mini map. I'm looking for him. He was parachuting in, so uh, that was probably not the smartest move by him. He probably should have sought cover more so than he did. Now in this situation, I'm trying to take C, and I'm just you know trying to figure out what's the best way to approach this. I know a lot of these guys are running C4, so I figured put myself uh, next to this uh, vehicle. Uh, you know, it gives me a little bit of cover. So I see on the mini map, this guy's over here. Luckily, he is not C4 in me. I try to get him with some splash damage. Now, I'm looking at my mini map, not just for those uh, Doritos, those red icons, but you see right there, my buddy just got taken out. Now, I can tell by looking at the mini map that when that disappears that quickly, uh, that's definitely a C4 guy. So I'm, I was able to turn and take that guy out. And now, back in that building that I was first shooting, you see the skull and crossbones, I know that that guy is still in there. My uh, squad mate was not able to take him out, so I keep focusing on him. I realize the whole splash damage thing just ain't working out, so I switch to LMG. Um, always a good thing to know when to just cut away. Now here, I hit the, the little shipping container, and then I hit the actual helicopter. This guy has died twice by me without actually dying. And my squad mate steals the kill with his stinger. So that, that moment pretty much pissed me off. Now here I see the guy running, and I know, so you got to think, anticipate where they're going to go to. I figured he's going to go up to those concrete walls. He does. I shoot them early. I get that splash damage on him. And so he gets scared and just keeps running through him, and I take him out. Now here I get this guy that's, you know, he's, he gets stuck on something. So that guy was just dead from the start. So that there ends the round. A lot of good tactics shown with the tank there. A lot of good strategies overall. And of course, I end up going 24 and 1. And if you didn't notice, most of that time I was by myself in that tank. My squad mates, I was in team speak with them, but they were off working on uh, Foxtrot and Golf, those two flags. And I was the one that was put in charge of heading up Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie all by myself. And I did a pretty darn good job, of course, 24 and 1. Um, most of which with the tank. Again, by myself, having to do my own repairs, my own spotting, my own third person, you know, looking around for C4 and whatnot. So, those are my tactics for the tank. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a good one. Ta ta. I wouldn't say anything to you about that. Yeah, that's debatable. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a plus there.